Hi and welcome to WP Matt. Here in this video, we are going to be learning about Elements Gates Widget Builder's Dimension Control. First of all, let's create a widget. From Elements Gate, go to Widget Builder. After that, click Add New. Right now, we have to create our widget. I'll give the widget name Box and choose the icon Box. After that, I'll keep the category basic. Now click save, then open any page with Elementor Page Builder, after that search box. This is our widget. Drag and drop on the page, after that you'll find the control section is completely empty. Now again come back to the widget page and let's write some HTML code. We have written a div and inside of this div we have used a class attribute named box. We'll use this class into the dimension control. Let's see how to do this. Click on this little icon, after that search dimension. This is the dimension control. We have to add this dimension control into the style tab. After that, you'll find the label name and the name. I'll give the label name padding and the name I'm giving is padding box. After that, we have description and placeholder. I want to keep these fields empty. Then you have the allowed dimensions. By default, all the dimension will be allowed, but if you click any of the dimension, that part will be disabled. For example, I have clicked the right side and you can see this right part is disabled now. In this video, I want to keep all the sides open. And then you have show label and level block. I want to keep the settings as it is. Then you have the most important part which is the CSS selectors part. Now click add item and there you have the CSS selectors and CSS properties. Our selector name is box so I'm typing the selector name dot box. And then you have the CSS properties. I want to use padding dimension. So I'm writing padding after that colon and then you have to write double curly braces and inside of this curly braces you have to write top which means the first dimension top then you have to write the unit this is how you have to write the right side bottom side and the left side one thing you have to make sure is that between every dimension you have to make any space for example i have written top and then the unit after that you have to make a bit of a spacing then the another dimension the new need. By default it will use pixel unit. Now before saving the page we have to add a bit of CSS here. We go to the CSS and write the CSS selector. We will use a background color here. Alright, now click save, go to the front page and refresh the page. After that, click on the widget and there you'll find the style tab. From here, we'll add padding. I have given 10 pixel from all sides. Let's give 100 pixel from the top and 100 pixel from the bottom. And there you can see it's working. Similarly, you can also work with the margin. Now let's go back to the widget page and duplicate the first one. And change the dimension name margin. And the name margin box. Scroll down and change the padding to margin. If you are interested to use another unit, on that time you have to remove the unit and simply write the unit. For example, I want to use percentage. Alright, now click save. Go back to the front page and refresh the page. Now click on the widget. I want to use 10% from the top and there you can see this box is moving. So this is how you can work with the dimension control. Thank you for watching this video.